Hello and welcome back to SPECT. And we're back and I've got the tally man. Yes, not here to tally bananas, but to tally the dead bodies on the battlefield. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Getting a wipe. I've got to calm down, okay. Ah, see, back in the day, I was going to buy this guy. I needed him pretty badly uh, and I didn't buy it. You know, and I was like, oh man, debating 15 quid for this model or not. 15 quid, do I try and buy it on eBay? And I couldn't get it cheap on eBay. And now I've got it for the grand price of 7 99 Oh, I feel so good about this. All right, okay, look. <laughs> Let's get this open and make a start. I'm glad you're here for more painting, building, hobbying, and crafty crafting. Crafty crafting will be coming up soon, I promise you. But for now, Let's get this open. All right, it's that time, it's sprue check time, and it's really simple sprue, it's a character sprue, so there's not much on it. So let's have a look here, what have we got date-wise? There we go, 2017. So this is still new, green plastic, no knots, bumps, but look at the detail there. See that, look at the wood effect. Again, all extra excited like a kid. There you go, see? It's those little details that make the model. And there's all these like litanies or just tag notes. This is going to be great. This is great. Okay, base, standard character size there. Um, so it's going to be really good to see what we've got once it's built up. So I'm going to get that built up. We're going to have a look at that later, even if it's just bare plastic. And we'll get on to the magazine. Okay, here we go. So let's make a start. As always, the most disgusting colors contrasting. Orange and green, that's really good. Draws your eyes, makes you have attention for the model right here. They should have done this with a Chaos Spawn. That would have been really good. So it works. Even though it's a small model, it's a really good picture. We've got the one model, 799. And I think we just need to open this up and get in there. Ah, the law. Sweet, sweet law. Look at that. So we've got Tallyman information. Sergeant there, suppressors, eliminators, tallyman build, paint, and power in numbers. So this is going to be about... T okay, let's have a look. This is a tally men. Now, I always thought that this was one singular character, uh, which was effectively able to just travel the warp and, and be everywhere at all times, that kind of thing. But wow. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Matorian's favourite number is seven, uh, same as Nurgle's, so that's, that's their thing. There you go, title, Tally Man, he's a spiritual leader, keeper of diseases. So is he effectively like a um, chaplain? That's interesting. So, okay, we've got a Nurgling there, sitting there, Tally Man. As I said, Nurgling, Vox Speaker, that's an interesting design for Vox Speakers, it makes sense. Tomes and Parchment, and there's some beautiful artwork there with our multi, Rick and Morty version of a Pox Walker. That looks right, Plague Surgeon, Foul Blight Spawn, Tallyman, Plague Marine, it's looking nice. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is Sergeant Kronos. This is one of the few, is it? Is this the character that can actually enter a vehicle? I think this is, okay. So the Space Marines, I believe, have this one character that can enter vehicles that don't normally have a carry capacity. So things like Deathwing missile launchers, if I'm right. And he can enter them. And once a vehicle's destroyed, he could just then get out and act as an independent character. Kind of like how I mentioned with the Knight. So I have to have a little look at that. But apparently he's done a lot of stuff with uh, vehicles, etc. and kicked a lot of butt. So that's pretty cool. Even though I'm not an Ultramarines fan, you know, it, the info's there. Suppressors. I've had plenty of fortune with suppressors. They've stopped plenty of charges for me. Uh, or, so I say Overwatch against charges, and they're really good. You can drop them in pretty much anywhere, and they take their tone, uh, toll Sorry, on the uh, enemies. So that's really nice there, facing off against um, some Black Legion. Anything interesting there? The war gear there. So we're getting a mini war gear. 
not their standard big information, but that's all good. That's all good. I'm still going to like it. They are tricky to keep on their stands as plastic stands don't work too well. But eliminators, eliminators are brilliant. They are brilliant. They're the best snipers ever. Say what you want. Um, have six of these on your on your table. Squad them up, and they're just brilliant. Hide them. Take them out of direct line of sight. Do whatever you want. But these guys are brilliant. They do so much damage, and it just works. And they do have a variety of different loadouts that you can have. One cool thing they have is a sergeant. And if they get charged, you can leave the sergeant there and run away with the rest of the models. It's really weird. That's yeah, pretty cool, but there's different items there. Tally man, build and structure. Which is going to be quite a complex build, but there are no options there. It just is what it is. Um, so don't forget to have fun basing and do your thing. Tallyman colouring there. Oh, that looks absolutely horrible. Uh, hopefully they're just showing you the base stage before they finish off what they're doing. Because right now you should have all the paints and all the washes to make this look spectacular. Shade application. Okay, good. So we're getting closer. There's a little abacus there with little mini skulls. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Never noticed that before. Um, we've got our outlining. Our edge hide lighting, okay. He's looking too clean for me, and I think I'm gonna go purple rather than the red there, but each of their own. Our vents, the wood effect there, they're using the Rakar flesh. If you angle your brush sidewards there, again, about here, and I always discuss about 45 to about 90 degrees, you should be fine. You know, just, just let it guide, and you pick up those lines. And if you do fill them in, don't worry, just put some wash in there, and you should be fine. Our flesh tones there for our nurglings. I tend to colour my nurglings green when I use them. Let's have a look there. Look at that. Nice little bit of paint in there. Freehand work. It's really good. The oxide's there. You don't have to use too much. There is another way of doing this. You could chuck all the oxide on there and come back in and paint the gold afterwards or the copper tones. The red for the plasma. Astro granite there. The basing. Good. And then including the rock. And there's your model. Now I think at this point you probably could do a lot better than this. It seems very basic, especially here in details. You could add so many color variations in that. He looks so clean. He doesn't look like someone that's been around a universe um, accounting for for Nurgle's plagues. Looks very, very, very clean. Hmm. Personally, I would have preferred if that was, um, you know, like a lot more muddier, but that's my personal preference. Uh, again, you've seen how I've done some of my stuff, and it just is grime with highlighting. So it's up to you. So power in numbers. Look at this. They've got a tally scroll. Oh my goodness, look. Look, look, look. No way. They're giving you an actual scroll. I'm so going to copy this and just stick it on a bloody thing on my sheet and just be like ticking it off just staring at my opponent's eyes and be like yeah look yeah look what i did and so they know look look at this oh that is beautiful and then when you tick it off just just show them like real hard in their face and just like the, the, this banner put them off that's just brilliant that this is the kind of stuff i love even horns are celebrating look that's oh Okay, this is a kind of thing that can make a game fun. Even if you lost the game, as long as you did this, this is awesome. Oh, I'll just, they, more characters could have this. Tyranids could have something like this. This is the kind of thing I'm thinking of when I was mentioning that before. This is just brilliant. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm having a moment. I'm having a moment. But that, okay, it's a game's workshop. I'm going to say this to you directly because Hashit's not in charge of this. Then again, Hashit, you can add these in just randomly. Games Workshop, we need more of these kind of things. These are narrative that drives a story. This is this is the kind of thing that makes people have stories and legends to talk about what their the characters did and what models did what. 
it doesn't have to be every single character, but you can... I know you're doing something like this for Space Wolves, but seriously consider doing this for for, for all hero characters that, that stand out. Because this, this, this is just gold. All right, okay, I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on. Okay, <laughs> Tally Man come with a mission here. You see the loadouts there. You've got 50 power rating. Um, it is what it is. I still want points, and I'll, I'm not going to let that go until I get my points, because uh, that's what I want to see. Victory conditions, etc. Tally Man stats as standard as normal. They haven't got the Hateful Assault, um, which is recently added. I say recently, but it's in Chapter Approved. I was thinking about this um, a while back, and I thought, why is all this space here? And what I thought is, nowadays with printers being so cheap and everybody pretty much has one, you could technically take a picture of you, the model that you're finished and painted and just stick it right here. Just so if anybody new starts playing, they can identify the model with the stats and also it helps you at a distance because all of these sheets look the same. Uh, and I find these sheets more helpful than the... More sirens. <laughs> Thought police. I find these sheets more helpful than being inside the codex because you have to keep flicking backwards and forwards. So having these separate sheets and maybe having the, the character images of the way that you're painting them can help a lot and save a lot of time. Anyway, info there. And there we go. This is what I was talking about the other week. So they're saying to you now how you can expand what you're doing. And finally, we're seeing uh, Robute Gilliman, we're seeing Extra Terrain, and we're seeing Death Guard. So they're clearly guiding you forward to expanding your army to play. And that's good to see. So that's that for that. Let's get the model together. We'll show you that. And I suppose we might as well have a look at what's next because they've clearly pointed out that your Primaris Repulsor, the next four parts, is here. It's such a beautiful model. It's clean, it's tidy, it has a dynamic, strong pose. And there's so many small details that once you get up close and you start painting, you can see them. But there's one thing that I learned, that when I followed the instructions, which was in the magazine, they deliberately showed you some of those hidden details which you would just take for granted and probably overpaint. Um, so things I'm looking at, like the little brass connectors near the skull on the uh, book there the way that they dealt with the abacus beads is actually metal rather than being mini skulls which is actually quite surprising i've put the nurgle uh, nurglin i should say on the side there like he is helping out uh, he's busy climbing up there as you can see he's struggling a little but he'll get there and that way it doesn't take away from the full display of the model so you can see the whole thing rather than part of it being blocked out. I've got him standing up on like a edge of a cliff or something, looking over so he can count the plagues which are currently in play on the battlefield, you know, give him that vantage point. And also in gameplay, uh, when it comes to models, characters can't really be targeted, so it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm not using this to game for height or anything. It's just like an interesting character. It's a narrative base. And um, this is one of the last Nurgle models which I'll be adding uh, to my collection from the magazine. I will go out there and buy myself um, a Mortarion because it just has to happen. <laughs> anyway, that's it guys. I hope you've enjoyed the model. And yeah, let's go from there. That's it. So that was a lot of fun. Um, definitely got to do that again. I want to get to sit there and read that lore, and it's a lot of information, and I really enjoyed that. The tally scroll was brilliant, and yeah, that's just fantastic. Keep doing that. Anyway, um, what do you think of the, uh, the issue? Uh, either way, I've enjoyed my time. I hope you've enjoyed yours. This has been Spect, and as always, PC out.